It was a we'd usually start with the performance as a whole, but I can't not start on that overhead kick. Just talk us through it now after you've seen it back. Um, you know, if the penalty is allowed, I don't think I scored that goal. It was a bit of a frustration. Um, but if you don't take a chance or put your name in the hat, you don't win a ticket, as, as the saying goes. But as soon as Jay's done it, I, I text Dev the other day and I said, this I'm scoring a overhead kick this season. And as soon as it's like floated up, I've just, yeah, I don't, I don't really know. I've put me back out though, I'm a bit sore now. But um, no, I'm delighted it's gone in. Um, delighted that we've, we've, we've got through to the next round. Um, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll certainly be watching the highlights. And in terms of the team performance, despite a slow slow game as a whole, really, we're in the hat for the next round in style with a three 0 win. How pleased are you just to get through? Yeah, I think credit credit must go to to Lincoln. They were resolute. They defended really well. Um, they they they're a good outfit, um, and it was just important for us not to get frustrated. You know, when the game did slow down a little bit in tempo, and we couldn't quite get that finishing. Um, touch if you like or final pass it can be frustrating sometimes but credit to the boys we stuck at it um, we know we're always going to be a threat from the first minute to the last minute um, and we stuck at it and and we got our goals in the end and and like you say great grateful just being the next round yeah like you've touched on they were quite resolute for 80 minutes um, what sort of things did you say to the boys especially up front Jay Luke just to make sure that he kept going and did get their goals in the end I think Luke and Jay Look, they're always a threat, no matter who to play against. They're capable of you know, coming inside, going outside, crossing the ball. And I just said, look, we can't get frustrated. Uh, because if you get frustrated, you start to make silly mistakes. And if it's not necessarily broken, you don't need to fix it. I said that to Luke. You know, he had the beating of his man, got him booked early doors by going on the outside. He put some really good, dangerous balls in, likewise with Jay. Um, and it's just important that we keep feeding players like that because they are the threats. And our legs if you like up there because I'm certainly not going to do too much running in behind but I will if I need to and look the second half I think we just because we was persistent a bit relentless of you know putting the ball in uh, good areas you know it might not necessarily be the, the best ball and into the keeper's hands but if you keep doing something something will happen you just got to keep that belief and in that dressing room we've got plenty of that. Yeah, obviously you got yourself two goals today and Jay did set them both up with crosses. How good is it to play with a winger, especially of that quality, or put balls on a plate for you to tuck home? Yeah, look, I, I feed off things like that, you know. I'm, I'm not six foot four for, for, for no reason. Like, I've, I've got to be in the area. I've got to, you know, make my movements off my, my, the lads putting the ball in. And having players around you, not just Jay and Luke, but Terry, Vaughney, Alex, who I thought was brilliant today, lots of energy. Um, you're going to get chances, you know, and and people just look at us and think, oh, we're just going to work the ball wide, cross the ball. Like in the first half, Jay's rolled his man, slid me down the side and the keeper's pulled off a fantastic save, you know, we can mix it up and I think that's the beauty of playing with players like that. We don't just, we're not one dimensional, we might sometimes look it because it's effective, but we can mix and match it, hence the why we've scored a unbelievable overhead kick and, you know, we've won the next round. Um, on a personal note, it's two goals today. You were probably unlucky to not have a hat trick, what with the the penalty decision and what, having one cleared off the line. But how nice is it to be building some form, especially after last week's goal at Ilkeston? Of course, look, I I, I take it game by game. Um, form's massive for a striker. Um, I think I've I think I'm on five now. Um, I'm not looking too far ahead. I'm looking to the next game against Radcliffe um, and add into that tally um, if I can. But I'm I'm delighted with with kind of. The momentum, you know, it's it's massive, and confidence again is is massive. Good that I didn't have the hat trick. The ref, you know, hold his hands up, and you've got to respect that. I just said to him, "Look, I might moan and groan on a football pitch, but I can I can only appreciate and respect somebody holding their hands up. It's an honest mistake. That's fine." Um, but yeah, another two to the tally, and let's see if I can add some more. Yeah, and the victory puts us in the hat for Monday's draw. Um, I just wondered if there's anyone in particular that you'd like to play, or home games, away games. Yeah, it'd be nice to get some uh, a, a, a tie at Sandy Lane, you know, get the fans right behind us. Um, but look, it's it's still early stages. Look, we want to. We're, we're looking at that that first round. We want a good tie. Um, if we can make some money for the football club uh, by by a big home tie, uh, then then so be it. But look, we we have got a good dressing room in there, no doubt about it. Um, and and we'll go toe to toe with with anyone on on our day. 
Yeah, you touched on the fans there. Just speak to us, uh, oh, well, last week as well, but especially today. How good were they? Um, well, 80 minutes and, and then on. But honestly, they're incredible. Um, I love having banter with them. I love the, the, you know, that side of things and, and interacting with them. I've got a lot of time for them. Uh, they're being great with me. They're, they're great with the team. You know, the following today, the following, the following all the time. You know, home away, you name it. They're, they're behind you, whether you win, lose, or draw. They know that every single player in that changing room plays for the badge, and we're one big family, sort of speaking. I know that sounds a bit cheesy or whatever, but we are. You know, we'll kind of have a beer in the the. the bar downstairs or here together the fans stay after we try and repay them on the football pitch with our performances and me by ultimately scoring goals and I feel like we signed off with a good one today and finally it's Radcliffe away next week obviously they're in form it's another away game but we've won two in a row now how, how are you looking forward to the challenge I'm buzzing for it you know they've made an incredible start they've got some um, really really good players uh, led by two Good managers, you know, no, real real experience. But it's a, a challenge that we're going to relish, you know. We're going there, um, dare I say, underdogs. You know, they've had a fantastic start, absolutely flying. Uh, their budget speaks for itself, you know. Uh, so we're going to go go there and, and put on a, a show and do what we do.